you asked me about the number of rates. And, uh, you know, in the past, I did communicate our intention uh, to move towards the neutral rate as a first step in the normalization process. Uh, what I'm telling you now is that we have made progress on that normalization path, but that we still have ground to cover, okay? And uh, as we have made those progress, I'm also telling you that the ultimate destination that we want to reach is the rate that will deliver the 2% inflation target in the medium term. And that rate, by the way, uh, is not necessarily the rate at which we will have considered that normalization is completed. It may well have to go beyond that. But what I'm also telling you is that we are going to decide meeting by meeting on the basis of data and using the three categories of considerations that I have mentioned. So it might well be several meetings. Now, how several is that will be determined meeting by meeting. We know the path, we know the journey, we know the destination, which is not as clear as a figure that you would like to pin down, because we cannot do that. We simply cannot do that. We are not even in October at a meeting when we have a set of data that help us have projections, outlook for growth, outlook for inflation. We will have that in December, and we will take all these elements into account to determine what rate, by how much rate, will be increased. And we will see thereon, on the basis of data, on the basis of possible recession, if it unfolds that way, on the basis of inflation outlook, which will be influenced by that eventual recession, on the basis of what we have done, on the basis of the lag time, time lag. Then we will decide if at the following meeting, we also have to proceed along those lines.